Hello, hello, my friends. I am back with another Bath & Body Works candle review for you. Today, we are going to be talking about pink, lavender, and espresso. If you caught my previous review video for the, what was that, vanilla and musk, you will know that um, I'm doing a little bit of pre-filming for this week. And today, as I am filming, my neighbor is chopping down trees and my children are home. So we might have a little bit of background noise going on. In addition to that, you can hear in my voice that I have some serious allergies going on right now, so I hope my voice won't bother you too much. Um, but if you happen to have missed that review, I will make sure that um, it is linked at the end of this video here so you can go back and see that. But the reason I am talking about a lot of these Bath & Body Works candles this week is because rumor has it that there is going to be a $12.95 sale coming up this weekend. And there is also a 25% off coupon that can stack with that. So um, I thought that it would be beneficial for all of you to know how these candles are performing in case any of you are interested in them. Hence, all of these dedicated reviews. So pink, lavender, and espresso. This is part of the White Barn, what is this, Neutral Blends collection. I happen to really love the color of this vessel. It's like a light pink. Um, it's very, very pretty, and it's a beautiful aesthetic, I think, especially in my home. I tend to have kind of a, I don't know, I wouldn't necessarily, it's definitely not like a modern type of um aesthetic. I tend to be a little bit more, I wouldn't even call it like farmhouse. I don't know. I'm just kind of like a traditional home decorator. I don't even really have like a specific style, but um, this, the, this line in general just I feel like fits in pretty much any home. So kudos to Bath & Body Works on their team for these labels because I am actually really loving them. All right, the fragrance notes on this are rich, fine lavender, or no, rich pink lavender. You guys, my eyes are going out. <laughs> caramel espresso beans and smooth vanilla now that is um something that i like about these is that you can also see the scent notes right here on the front of the label which is really nice now this candle happened to really catch me by surprise that i enjoyed the fragrance because i am not one who really likes lavender scents nor do i really like coffee scents but it's something that i think is kind of unique in this candle is that they have blended two scents together that I personally would have never put together. You know, I typically think of lavender as being like a calming spa-like type of scent and then espresso, I would think morning, you know, you want to wake up. And yet I find that this candle is not only beautiful to burn in the morning hours, but I also like it in the evening. So I feel like this is a perfect candle to burn all day long if you would like to. This is a beautiful scent, particularly for this time of year. I think it really embodies the essence of what we're all feeling this year. We want a little bit of that warmth still going on because let's be honest, it's not always completely warm outside right now, um, especially if you don't live in Arizona like me. Um, a lot of you still have snow on the ground. A lot of you, you know, the temperatures are maybe in the 40s or 50s. I recognize that spring for many of you guys is actually what winter weather is to me. Um, but still, you know, we have those cold mornings, cold evenings, um, but the daytime temperatures are feeling pretty good. And I feel like that is what this candle embodies because we've got the warmth of, of wanting like a nice hot drink, like coffee. And then um, the lavender is actually, lavender is a floral, um, even though we tend, to, I tend to at least to, um, equate it with being a spa-like scent. It is a floral. Um, it is from a flower. And so my nose definitely smells a perfectly balanced lavender, but espresso in this. I would say that the espresso is slightly more dominant than the lavender note in here, but the two of them together, you guys, is absolutely beautiful. I had mentioned in my Bath and Body Works haul when I showed this candle initially that it was one that I had smelled in store and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like that one, but a friend of mine was burning this in her home and I walked in and I was like, okay, yes, I love that. I definitely want it. So let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this one. Um, again, Bath and Body Works is doing really, really well with this candle. Um, I have burned it now, oh, a little bit over the halfway mark right now. The, I would say that the wicks are starting to slow down a little bit, but they are not puny wicks. Um, the, the wicks are developing, um, a little bit of that carbon residue at the end. This specific candle that I have has 
thicker wicks, kind of like those tree stump wicks. Um, but like I said, they're not giving me any issues right now. So that is good. I will say that the wax pool has gotten a little bit dirty um, because of the carbon residue. However, that is not affecting the fragrance at this point. If you do want to know how these candles burn completely all the way through, make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I do do monthly candle empties and that is usually where you are going to get my complete thoughts on how a candle performed for me because you really know that by the time you are empty with a candle or empty with or oh my goodness you really have an opinion by the time you have burned all the way through a candle there we go katie get those words out so um strength and throw on this one i would give this a good medium high um just like some of the other candles that i have recently picked up this one i would say is about an eight um it definitely fills up my living room it's not one that is overbearing though so i feel like this is also another candle that is really good to have especially if you're going to be having company over it's pleasant it's not going to knock anybody's socks off um it is one that fills up a closed concept bedroom very very well um i have burned it in here along with um, it a, it pairs very nicely room to room with that vanilla and musk scent I find that the two of those together I've really enjoyed burning those um, but sometimes I'll burn it in my bedroom and it definitely fills up the bedroom and the scent can even linger a little bit after that so I would give it a good medium high um, strength of about an eight I forgot to reference in my last candle review in the vanilla and musk if you are new to me new to my channel um, my home is a single story 1700 square square foot open concept home with high ceilings in the living room, lower ceilings in the bedrooms. My home is about 20 years old, so it is kind of that typical early 2000s um, open concept type of home. But that's just giving you a little bit of a reference point for where I'm coming from when I give a candle a rating of high, medium, high, you know, that that kind of stuff. So let me know in the comment box down below if you like this candle, if you have purchased it, what do you think about it? Um, what does your nose detect? I always encourage you, as long as you are being respectful and kind, not only towards myself, but other people in our community, to just chime in with your thoughts because you are an important member of this fragrance community. Um, Two thumbs up from me to pick this one up, especially this weekend if it is available in store or online for that $12.95 sale, definitely. I mean, I think even with a coupon, you're probably gonna be talking now around $10 or $11 after tax. So that's a pretty good deal for me. But yes, two thumbs up. If you liked this video, make sure you hit thumbs up. <laughs> um, and also, if you want to stick around for more candle content and a little bit of beauty, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. Thank you to my returning subscribers. Um, thank you to any new viewers for watching this video. And I just want to say that I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.